goodness. Thank you. That's how my grandpa says it. <laughs> mm, he went to go move her car, I think. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Got you. Okay. Um, are there? Never mind. It's okay. It's no papers. Uh, 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 uh. Gang in it. Eh. I be feeling so lopsided. I don't know if my papers. thanks. That's what I was looking oh, for. Looking for papers. Thank you. You're welcome. I feel like my head is so lopsided. I don't know if it's because it's too big and it, like leans one way more than the other. See, that's what I think. I feel like it follows this way. I'm like this. Yeah, I feel so lopsided. Whatever. <clears throat> Good evening. I'm Simone Floyd. Thanks for joining us for WVUA 23 News. The Northport City Council voted unanimously Monday night to accept a proposal to buy the Northport Civic Center, City Hall, and Fire Station 1 for $3.5 million. Council President Jay Logan says the city will now enter into a six-month due diligence period with the successful bidder, Beaker Property Group. According to Logan, citizens can think of this as is the city accepting the sale proposal while both sides iron out details. Northport has the option of pulling out of the deal at any time. The Beaker Group plans to merge several properties to possibly attract a national retailer. A federal judge on Monday blocked an execution scheduled for an Alabama death row inmate convicted of killing a police officer two decades ago. 40-year-old Tory McNabb was scheduled to die Thursday night. McNabb, along with several other death row inmates, are challenging the methods of lethal injection that Alabama uses. McNabb was convicted of killing Montgomery police officer Anderson Gordon in 1997. Smoke is descending into the coastal beach town of Santa Cruz, California from a fire that broke out late Monday. Four structures were destroyed today and five firefighters were injured. Dozens of people have been evacuated from about 150 homes in the area. Smoke is visible almost 20 miles away at the University of California, Santa Cruz. Officials say that it may be necessary to evacuate students from that campus. The cooler fall temperatures we've enjoyed lately will gradually warm as we head into the weekend. By Saturday, high temperatures are expected to go back into the low 80s. The cooler air is following a cold front that moved through Alabama Sunday night and Monday morning. Nighttime low temperatures will be mostly in the 50s. And as you know by now, this Saturday is the third Saturday of October, and that means it's Tennessee week for the Alabama Crimson Tide. The Tide and the Volunteers will face off on Saturday afternoon at 2.30, and the game can be seen on, T on CBS TV. That's the news for now. I'm Simone Floyd. Thanks for watching, and have a great night.